Uh, there's a lot of things we could take away. Uh, our compete level was at a very minimal today, and you know we're, we're going to lose those games if we don't compete, and that's that's our biggest factor. We need to work on our D zone. Um, Paying attention in practice and going back to the compete level and wanting it more than the other team. Uh, one positive you can take is that the boys were standing up for each other as they they learn and grow together. A lot of scrums after the play. That's that's an uh, encouraging sign, no? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, we're a tight net group in here, and uh, everyone will do everyone for. So I mean, it's it's good to see that and just uh, you know, a little bit more. Uh, you had the opportunities, but uh, they got in the lanes a lot. Is it frustrating when uh, your shots are going off legs and going wide? Yeah, I mean, in some games it's that's going to happen, but uh, we just need to find a way to get a second chances, getting a rebound, working hard to get into the corner and win those battles, just to get in front of the net and get more shots. Braden, you always preach that you don't get too high after victories and you don't get too low after losses. Do you turn the page at midnight tonight and forget about this, or do you kind of stew on it for the next 24 hours leading into the Swan Valley game on Friday? Uh, usually that's what you do, but uh, I think we need to think about this one a little bit more. It's, uh, it's a team that we are... We have a heavy rival with, so we need to learn from this, obviously, and uh, come into tomorrow, watch some video, and learn from it. Thanks, Bird. Yeah, thank you.